Today we're just going to talk about working with photos on the Panasonic GH6, so specifically RAW photos. Um, up until now, it's um, it, there's not really been any support around for um, for RAW photos apart from um, Silky Pics, which is the um, the software that Panasonic has sort of recommended that people use. Whilst uh, there's adoption across other programs, um, luckily today um, I've updated Lightroom and I'm on version 5. Point, uh, sorry 5.3 um, I'm using Creative Cloud just got the uh, the latest um, update and um, it says on there that there's um, new cameras and lenses supported um, so if we jump into the jump into a card uh, I'm not really sure what these photos will be but we'll see let's throw in a few pictures from this card and see what we've got there Okay, so you can see our, our raw files are actually showing up now in um, in Lightroom. So if we import them, we've actually got images working from the um, from the GH6. So you should now be able to use this and stop using um, Silky Pix. Silky Pix is, is not particularly easy to, as a workflow. Um, you know, Lightroom obviously allows you to add multiple images and you, you can um, sort of apply adjustments to them in batches or you know it's, it's just a much easier workflow if you're taking a lot of photos um, and obviously if you're doing work for clients then um, it can be quite frustrating only being able to um, you know adjust one photo at a time so it's um, it's great that there's um, Lightroom support now for this. Um, I did try a couple of other photo applications that I use um, Affinity Photo uh, still doesn't have support currently, but um, yeah, hopefully that is coming soon. Um, but it is great just to have it in Lightroom because um, that, that just opens it up massively on what you can actually do now with photos. I mean, for me, it makes it a lot more usable. I'm a lot happier taking photos and knowing I can actually come back and edit them. So um, yeah, that's great. It was just a you know a quick video just to say that support now is there. Um, you know, it's not to say that it will be perfect. There could be sort of little glitches and and bits here and there with the raw files that um, potentially need to be tweaked and updated in later versions. But um, so far, you know, importing things seems to work. Uh, there's nothing obvious that's jumped out to me so far. So um, yeah, hopefully that's helped. If it has, give the video a like. And if you want to see more GH6 content, then please subscribe to the channel.